Greetings, salutations. I hope everyone's having a good day. And let's talk about some Kubera today, man, because I've been on a bitch. I've been going crazy. As of this video, I am currently on chapter 212 in total, which is season two, episode 110, Last Resort, part four. And I have been having a blast, especially since reading Frozen Tears into the one standing before me. I really felt like it started to truly hit its stride around that time. But Frozen Tears had something happen just kind of right when it took place. And that was the death of one of my favorite characters with the birthday attributes of triple nil, a quarter, the priestess of chaos, president of the Cali Bloom Fighters Guild. Tio Rekha. Now I know she's back now after Asha had used that spell and it just it brought me back to life because I honestly Curry I'm not gonna lie to you. I took that as a personal attack against me because I fell in love with her. <laughs> she is a great character. And I just wanna talk about why I have enjoyed her thus far and why I'm happy to see her back in the story. So let's talk about it. Y'all talking time to take away. You ain't clocking I was on the day. All that watch is stopping what you claim. Dollar cross is real, got me name. Hoping God just get me out this way. Like and subscribe and hit the bell down so the ghost of 13 month series doesn't get you. And let's just talk about the greatness of Tio. Okay, so I really, really fell in love with this character really around the time that Gandhi's reflection was in that pool of blood when she was just walking around talking to him. Like, I really felt like her conflict with, with what was going on really made sense. And it's just like how it kind of comes full circle in this beautiful tragedy where she was like, no, like I didn't misjudge him. He did act too late and she got the damn sword in her neck. And I was like, bro, I hate him forever. Gandhi's a great character. His struggle with him trying to find Shankunta, Shankuntala, shoot, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, and everything, I get it, I understand it, King, it's, it's, it's a lot, he's dealing with a lot, I don't care anymore, okay, after that happened, he was dead to me, that's all I'm saying, I, I'm done with him, okay, I'm done with him, but honestly, because it's like, she just let him in, and she was like, whatever, whatever, and I really love how she revealed she's a priest of the chaos, it didn't shock me. I, I, I didn't see it coming, but it didn't shock me. She's like, oh, you're talking to her. And she just kind of just, you know, eating food, whatever, the knife, all those moments. And like her, when she kept her composure after seeing his true form in that pool, and she didn't even, he, he couldn't even tell. She didn't even flinch. She didn't react. She didn't sweat. She just kept cool, calm, collected, did her research, you know, stalked her around, all of that stuff. And I'm like, bro, she's wrong. I love how she speaks because she's so confident the way she was wielding around that sword and everything talking to Gandhi was like it was so cool because it was just like this progression into like who is this person what do you think she is she's just kind of talking around like this like oh my god it's the pieces of chaos and it's like wait if she's gone there's no one to replace her this triple nil attribute is extremely extremely rare and when she was like, um, who said that you have to use magic in a magic test to pass it? I'm like, bro, who is she? And then when she showed that sword skill, I'm like, yeah, she's the one. Like, she proved all of that. But, like, I definitely fell around that part where she was just like, oh, wait. This is his true reflection. And she didn't panic. Instead, she did her research. It was so beautiful to me when it really happened in, like, the most tragic sense because I was mad because I got so attached to her. And speaking of her... Speaking of the priest so far, I have not disliked any of the priests, but the priest has says, so Brilith and Teal have been absolutely incredible characters as far as I'm concerned. I don't know how you can dislike either of these characters, especially Brilith. I don't understand. I I might have to fight you if you do. <laughs> maybe maybe something happens later that I don't know, but I'm, so I'll, I'll just keep my mouth shut on that because I'm still a newbie. I'm a noob, but um, it's like, when he was showing her certain kindness and dusting off her leg and things of that nature. And, you know, like, I really like Sagara's take on the fact that he's a fake nice person. Asha also somewhat says this about Lee's. And I, and I actually dislike people like this. They're kind of grandstanding and they kind of pretend to be a lot better of a person than they are. Where it's like, sure, Sagara is a despicable person. And I can understand why anyone who doesn't like her. But she doesn't lie about who she is. 
she is she her goals and motivations and whatnot and how she wants to get them where it's like he does this then she dies then he cries and this listen his, him freezing her before her name was i can't exactly remember how it was explained but it was a dope explanation i remember liking it when i read it but about like the name not being fully gone to the underworld yet then asha using that spell that no one had ever had really been able to use since the upheaval and everything that was that was incredible and that she's back so we'll see what thematic role she plays moving forward. But I do think that it was... I thought her death made sense because I thought what was going to happen was because there was no one to replace her, we were going to see what was going to happen with the Temple of Chaos and things of that nature. But her being back is good for the fact that at the time being, we don't have anyone that can that has a triple nail attribute. Getting back on track to the part where I was speaking about where it kind of comes to its climax and she was like, basically like, did I misjudge him? You know, like she really did in a, in a, in a way really fall for him. And I thought it was like this beautiful, like struggle of your heart versus your head. Cause she has her duties and she was doing them and she was probably willing to carry them out. But after learning about his own trials and tribulations, she thought maybe there was just a, maybe a, a, a chance or an inkling somewhere in there that she, he would intervene and help and choose her over whatever goals he had. She had, uh, he had. And ultimately, in a lot of ways, she was correct on that gamble. He just acted too late. And apparently, this is not the first time he's done something like this. So when she was just like, good, like, you know, I didn't like misjudge it. And then I see the sword on that. I just like, it broke my heart. I'm like, bro, no, no, please. Not like this. I was like, no, no, I was, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. But I really thought it was like a beautiful, a beautiful struggle, a beautiful little story there. I don't know if I don't know if things are gonna escalate. Listen, I think she could do better. Fuck this Gandhi ass nigga. We don't need him. We don't want him. We could do better. Go and find you someone like Agni. You know what I'm saying? That's I could see Agni and Brilith. I can get behind. But anywho, this is one of my favorite six characters in the series. I'm happy that she's gonna still be around. At least Gandhi did the right thing to freeze her before it was too late to kind of keep her body in uh you know, I, I don't know, cryo, you know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure what the term is, but you know, like, like a stasis, right, so, it was really dope, but she's a good character, and she's mad strong too, right, so I want to see more of her, swords, her swordsmanship and everything moving forward, she, when she actually put that makeup on, to, and uh, I'm like, oh my god, look at her, she's just, she, oh, how could you not like this character, I just want, if someone in the chat doesn't like this character, that's in the chat, in the comments doesn't like this character, you gotta tell me why, and then I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong, but, I just kind of want to just give her her little spotlight because I am very, very ecstatic to see that she's back. Because trust me, I was in the... Seeing that sore hair and neck just broke me somewhere different. I don't know. Y'all have never really seen me act like this because you haven't really seen me be engaged with a series that has a very, very heavy romance undertone. Or really over... I was, I, I, really, it's really a integral to the story. I can't really say it's like a... Like a subplot thing this is a love story uh i'm always told like a fantasy love story and stuff but i'm a romance merchant so y'all y'all have never seen me act like this before but i'm here for it i love it i can't see i can't wait to see what teal will do in the future shout out to my priest test of chaos more greatness from her to come i'm sure i still to go you're at the end of the day you can't keep a bad bitch down. Yes, sir! Pushing in my drugs, yeah. Pour it in my cup, yeah. Sitting in my darkness with my clothes, we pouring up. I don't really give a fuck, I don't really have a say. You tell me that I suck, I tell you get up out my face. You got tears in your eyes, looking like a fool.